I pretty regularly get questions about my spreadsheet and generally how to use Google Sheets because it's not intuitive. Just to put it out there, I do work in digital marketing. I work with Excel on a pretty regular basis. So Google Sheets is like a natural extension of Excel. If you're trying to figure out what to do with your life and you find yourself enjoying Google Sheets, you should definitely invest in Microsoft Excel and get used to it. It's a really wonderful program. It's really great for data management and you could do all kinds of cool things with it. People ask me how I do a lot of the things that are set up in this spreadsheet and I thought today I would just run through some of them. First of all, uh, the thing I get the most questions about is how you do these little drop downs. So for each gene and for each breed, I have a drop down for also the flight or all the colors, the tertiary colors. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. That's called data validation. And it would be easiest to show you how to do it in a completely new document, just so you guys see that this isn't very hard. How do I dismiss that? Okay, there we go. I'll show you how it works here. So how this works is you have a cell, you select one of these, iridescent is selected. It's pulling the data from this data sheet that I have that has everything listed out. So it's not generating that from nowhere, it's generating it from this list. We'll do this and I'll show you. Any cell, just pick any cell, and I'm gonna call it fun colors. Then over here I'm gonna make a list of something, some fun colors. So mint, raspberry, blue, <laughs> green, purple, lilac, lavender. Is that lavender or lavender? Anyways, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and go to data validation. The cell range is going to be the cell where you want the drop down list to appear. And the criteria is going to be the cell range where the list of options is. Now that I've set the data validation, it's going to give me an error message when it does not fall within the specif specified range. And if I want to add some colors to it, you know, maybe make it so up here it says fun colors. And I want to add red, tomato, yellow. And I want those to now show up. Uh, we're gonna go back to the data validation and we can go like this. Um, another thing we could do is actually just click on the entire column and anytime that we ever add something to this column now it's going to show up in this fun colors. So teal. Teal is now there. This is some pretty basic level stuff. Like literally, I remember learning this in like maybe third or fourth grade on those old Macs, is you can sort data. So you're gonna wanna sort it A to Z, and now it's all in alphabetical order. So that's pretty basic. And then what you could do is um, make other cells have the same information in it and then copy and paste it a million times and it pulls from the same place. So that's how I do the drop downs. All you need to do is have the data saved somewhere and it'll pull it in. And I do it by column. So if I ever add anything, for instance, breed, cool down, ready to breed, primary gene, these are changing the most. It pulls by the column so I don't have to keep updating the range. It would just be inefficient to keep going back in and fixing that. So that's how I do that. The other things that I get the most common questions about are probably filtering. I use filtering very often. It's basically what spreadsheets are for in my opinion. So this little funnel is the filter icon. And when you click on it, you can now filter your selection and everything that has rows of content in it and a header will be filtered. So now I can filter on top of a filter. So I want everyone who doesn't have a mate who is basic or just the girls. And then it gives me just one. And then if you click on it again, it turns the filter off. 
a very basic Google Sheets thing. This is really nice that, that Google Sheets has this. You know, Excel does not. These bars right here, I mean, Excel has it. It's just formatted differently. The, the way that you access the feature, I like how it's built into Google Sheets. What this does is it freezes the row the this one right here the horizontal one freezes the row so as i scroll blue remains right there the first data validation room stays right there and then if you move over the vertical one as you scroll over that remains the same where that's useful is when you're dealing with a lot of data and you want to make sure that you don't lose what's on the far left cell i don't personally have that much data in this spreadsheet besides the most surface level things about a dragon. If you go to my subspecies, this might be useful if you put it there and then you're seeing who is related to who. In my opinion, the filtering is the most important thing. Um, so let's just do some more really basic things like formulas. So this right here is today plus 26 and that gives you this date plus 26 days, which is 1211. And what this is useful for is when you set a dragon to breed and you want to know when they're going to be ready to breed again. So if they're a Codal or Wild Claw, they'll be 30. Imperial Nocturne, it'll be 30. And I actually have a formula that I built in here. And what it does is a V lookup. So holy heck, guys, we're about to get into something a little heavy. This is the VLOOKUP. This is one of the most interesting skills that I've acquired in my line of work and I think it's pretty important if you ever consider going into data management you're going to be working with VLOOKUPs. So let's say that these are shirt colors and shirt pricing. Okay, so what I want to do is I have a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet is going to have one second. It's going to have, you know, the person's name. And then the um the color shirt that they want. and how many of the shirts they want. Okay. So what we need to do is return how much the shirt costs. And the way that you'll do it is by selecting the object, then selecting the range, then selecting how many cells over you want to go after you find that on the list. Now this actually isn't going to find on the list because I spelt it wrong. Um, possibly twice now. But it returns that cell amount. I'm just going to generate these numbers for the sake of doing it. And now I'm going to pull down. Just like with the data validation, you could do the entire cell if you'd like. So that'd be I through I. And then J. There we go. And then what you could do is multiply the value by the quantity and it gives you that and then you could just drag that down. And so that's what a VLOOKUP does. So what this formula does right here is um, you copy and paste it into a cell and it takes that dragon's species and it returns the date in which the dragon should be able to breed next. It's kind of kind of convoluted, um, but I really like it. I use it 
And then of course I copy and paste, paste special, paste values only, so that you get rid of the formula. So when it's tomorrow, it's not saying 15 days from tomorrow. And I just have this cell labeled VLOOKUP because that's what it is, that's right there. And this is just another one of those today plus 30s. This will return nothing while nothing is in here. But if it's a like wild claw, then all of a sudden we have something. So basically, those are my Google Sheets tips and tricks. Nothing really that heavy.